going into this, we didn't realize how many applications there potentially would be. We have clients that come to us uh, all over the world with new ideas. We started the company in 1998 uh, mostly as a um, remote control toy company and we started building blimps, radio control airplanes and helicopters. So the, the functions on this particular app are shutter, so you take a picture, we'll go this way here and then we'll tilt the camera. Not normal ro remote control helicopters, ones that have uh, four propellers, so they're called multi-rotor helicopters. And the benefit of that type of helicopter is there's very little maintenance. And what we started to do on these helicopters is put video cameras on them. And what we didn't realize at the time, we were onto something quite big. And uh, now in, in the whole industry, you see uh, all sorts of multi-rotor helicopters with video cameras. We were pretty much the first, and I think we're the, the lo longest uh, running manufacturer of multi-rotor helicopters in the world. One thing that we realized back then was it was still too hard to fly. So then we brought on engineers to help us develop a control system that would enable the helicopter to fly via GPS. And that sort of opened up a lot of possibilities. Now to take off, you're going to advance the left joystick just slightly and bring it back to center and it's going to do its take off thing. Okay, so go ahead. We believe people should have a good experience first off using our, our equipment and part of that is understanding the equipment very well and being able to use it in a, in a capable manner. Okay, so I'm going to give you control now. I want you to move it just slightly forward. The other thing that we didn't anticipate is the law enforcement use of this technology. So we've come a long way from creating a product that was suitable for hobbyists to now building um, products that actually can save lives. So the the police departments that we sell to are all over the world, in Australia, United States, Canada, and the, the RCMP and Saskatoon City Police being one of the early adopters. Our main purpose is the collision investigation, and then uh, we also do um, crime scenes uh, for, for major crimes to do with outdoor scenes, where we can provide uh, aerial photos to, to, to document evidence. And then we also uh, have been helped to, or have been assisting on search and rescue and um, uh, tactical situations with the emergency response team. In May of uh, last year, Saskatoon Detachment got a call about uh, 12.30 of a single vehicle rollover on Highway 5 east of Saskatoon by St. Denis. Uh, EMS and rescue people were not able to locate the, any, any injured parties or the driver. There was indication that someone had been hurt fairly bad, but uh, they couldn't find him in the immediate area. They called uh, me out there with the uh, UAV with the FLIR camera, and uh, through a bunch of uh, dominoes falling into place, we were able to get a new location for this person, which was two miles south of the collision scene. And with the use of the UAV, we were able to spot a, a heat signature in the area, and, and with the UAV in the air, we were able to direct rescue people to that heat signature which turned out to be the injured driver in very uh, critical condition suffering from hyperthermia. The most flattering thing is, is creating a product that could save someone's life. Uh, it makes it um, very meaningful for us. Our name is really uh, describes as well Dragonfly Innovations and we learn a lot from our clients. And, and feedback from our clients as to what is working for them, what they would like to see. We are able to take that information and make changes as, as we continue on our, our journey to improving our, our systems. Another application that our customers are using is industrial applications where they're doing inspections of power poles and, and all sorts of different structures, FLIR stacks, that sort of thing. We always have to stay ahead of the curve and develop new technologies. The, the main thing is to develop the, it's, you know, we can build the flying machine, but we have to enable people to utilize the data. So it's one thing to build a helicopter, but you have to be able to build a helicopter and train people and train people on using the actual imagery because it's all about the data.
Everything is done inside of our factory and that poses a lot of challenges also uh, because we do all our, our own uh, circuit boards, uh, software, um, the airframe is built in Saskatoon. We have a plastic injection molding machine, we have a couple of different 3D prototype machines uh, and we have a, a fairly strong, a very strong R&D department where all we do is do research and development. In Canada, specifically in Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan is a very high uh, hotbed of activity and uh, an advancement in the use of, of unmanned systems. So it works very well, uh, very well here. And, and so we have to be very proud of the fact that Saskatchewan is doing this.